Hey. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put the microphone where it's actually supposed to be. Okay. Nailed it, first try. Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to the Robot Arena 2 Tournament of Robotic Destructions AI Starcore, Starcore AI Mod Pack. Sorry about that. It's been kind of a long name. And also, this was supposed to be a weekly series. I didn't realize it's already been two friggin' weeks. Time gets ahead of you when you're trying to do so much at once. But, without further ado, we are here with the 11th team in the lineup on the lightweight side. As, of course, I explained earlier, since uh, most of the teams have more than one lightweight, they're going to have to compete to see who can represent their team. Team number 11 happens to be the Eye of the Storm. We've got Cyclo, nice little spinner bot with some hammers there on top. We've got A.W. Whirlwind, a good Saul bot. Pretty big, pretty big Saul. It's pretty much all Saul. And then, of course, we've got B.W. Tsunami. And for the arena, we will be using the StarCore AI Combat Arena since I figured people ought to see it, you know? I mean, it's, it's the theme of the game, StarCore AI. So uh, let's get right down to it without further delay. So I gotta remember F3, double tap F3 to get that follow mode camera right when it comes in. Oh, we've got an intro. Should I? Nah, skip intro. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've got it. Actually, yeah. I keep calling it follow mode camera. Alright, little little whirlwind there with his saw. Cyclone's coming in. Right from the bottom. Oh, he's gonna get a good hit on Tsunami. Yeah, he did. I think I'm gonna give it to Whirlwind. I mean, those hammers are just. Any bot with hammers like that just winds up being devastating. Ooh! I didn't know there was an out. Um, Whirlwind's out. He's done. He's, he's out of bounds. Oh, he's, he's done. He's so. He's so. screwed. <laughs> oh, I told you. Told you, whirlwind. Oh man, I gotta get that written down, and we'll be right back. That one was over quick. Okay, uh, just one second. Uh, I actually got their names mixed up. That was Eye of the Storm's Cyclone that actually won that. Whirlwind and Cyclone. It's it, they're just too they're too close. They're too close. <laughs> but um, the Cyclone won that one, so he'll be going on to the uh, actual tournament to represent his team. All right, and we're back. We've got the Grave Diggers Reaper versus the Grave Diggers AW Zombie and finally the Grave Diggers BW Ghoul. So without further ado, let's get right in here and see what happens in this match. Enter the combat zone. No, do not enter the combat zone. The well, yeah, enter the action. combat zone, but skip intro. I guess I shouldn't guess who I think is gonna win because I don't know their names too well yet, but I say the one with the giant friggin' spikes. Ooh, I didn't know there was a flipper. Hey, there's a flipper in the center of the arena. What do you know? Looks like, uh, I think that's Reaper almost has... No, that's Ghoul. I think Ghoul almost has uh, Reaper over the edge there. Looks like the one with the spikes is like... He's not driving too well. He needs to turn his spikes off and get his driving together. Flipped himself over on his head. That's going to cost him points. <laughs> Yeah, a little, uh, little spike bot's doing pretty good there. Looks like he's uh, about to push him over to the edge. The uh, pot that's spinning on top of its head right now is probably just going to get counted out. Uh, I think that's... Um, uh, I'm going to say it's Ghoul. I'm going to say it's Ghoul. I think that was Ghoul. We got AW Zombie. Only at 88 points. Reaper at 400. Ghoul somehow at 862. Let's let's see if we can catch him getting points. That'll tell me who's who. 962. Okay, so Ghoul is the one with the spike. The little spike thing that's going up and down. He's gonna push Zombie out of the, the arena. Or either that or just win by points. I don't think he's got enough push power to really push him out of the arena. I think uh, Reaper... Or, um, let's see, Ghoul, the one with the spikes, he's probably about to run himself over the floor flippers there if he's not careful. He just can't get up. He needs a, he needs a flipper. He needs a Shremek, which I didn't really know that was called a Shremek until recently, but he, he needs one. Bad. I wouldn't get near him. He, he's freaking, he can't control himself, but he's still deadly. 
Got 57 seconds left remaining in the match. It looks like it's going to go down to Ghoul with over a thousand points. He hasn't taken too many heavy hits. He wants to hold the other guy there, but they both keep getting counted out at the same time, and it looks like he's having trouble with his spike right now. He's not wanting to fire. Oh, come on, that's terrible. Well, they all, they can all be great matches. <laughs> it looks like the one with spikes is, he's almost working his way over there. <laughs> not that he's controlling any of that. If he could just get in a couple of lucky hits, man. If he could just get in a couple of lucky hits. I guess that's, um, Zombie or Reaper. God, I don't know who it is. Oh, ooh, he almost had him. <laughs> oh, there's a lucky hit. <laughs> there goes a the tire. Zombie's destroyed. Wow. Man, that was crazy. It's it's going to go to Ghoul. It's going to go to Ghoul. Uh, it's like, I, I wanted Reaper to win. I wanted Reaper to win, but unfortunately, um, he does not control himself very well at all. <laughs> Once, Like, even before he was uh, flipped over, he was, like, in the corner just... Dancing around, not really doing much. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back, and this time we've got Team King Arthur's Court. Uh, team number, I think that is 13 now. So, Castle Guard versus King Arthur's AW Battle Ant versus King Arthur's BW Squire. All lightweights. And now, let's get to it. Welcome to the oh my God, it's gonna do that every time. Why didn't I turn that off? Action cam. Okay, I think I can actually get these guys straight. So Castle Guard is the one with the... Nope. Battle Ant is the one with the tiny axe, right? And then Castle Guard would be the one with the giant two uh, dual axes that apparently can't drive very well. Woo! Oh, man. Little uh, Squire almost got just destroyed by the hammer. Oh, ooh, nice. And there's the hammer coming down on Squire. We got one hit in on the little battle ant. It's a freaking meat tenderizer. Wow. It seems pretty devastating, too. But uh, maybe um, Castle Guard can actually get over there. He's there. He's there now. <laughs> Castle Guard is just ridiculous. Maybe he'll win just because both of them are getting destroyed by the hammer. One of them appears to be stuck in a corner. Oh, there goes an axe. That almost went a tire. Both of both bots uh, really in danger zone of the hammer. Man, that little that little castle guard <laughs> can uh, take a can really take a hit. Or if you lose your hammer, you'll be all all but done. Don't lose your main weapons. Get away from the hammer! Oh God, is it gonna die to the hammer? They're gonna die to the hammer. Arena hazards, man. Yeah, just stay in there. Just, just stay in there. Apparently, we've had some trouble on Castle Guard's engine. Castle Guard's about to get knocked out. Ooh, we better get out of there. Um, battle ants stuck underneath the hammer. No safe time to exit. Countdown starting. Can't get out because Castle Guard's in the way. Hammer's coming down. His engine's dead. His engine's dead. He's getting counted out. It's all over. It goes to battle ant. <laughs> All right, AW Battle Ant for the win. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back for the next match. All right, we're back, and this time we've got Team Atlantis, number 14, I believe it is. Uh, yep, number 14. Team Atlantis's Whirlpool versus Team Atlantis's AW Riptide versus Team Atlantis's BW Piranha. Without further ado, let's get this match started and see what these bots are all about. Welcome to the Tab zone. F3. Come on. Come on. Doot, doot. Yeah, action cam. Okay, so Whirlpool is the little one. They're both. They're all little. <laughs> I think Piranha is the one having trouble driving right now. Riptide at 3:33. We've got Piranha at 6:22 in the lead right now. Ooh, but a big hit scored by Riptide. Another big hit, and another. Looks like he might win this one. He's at five. Oh no, no, apparently that's... No, the Whirlpool is the one we're winning right now. 2,000. He's the one with the big hits. Oh, wow. Nice. A big win by Whirlpool. Very fast. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. 
Alright folks, and we're back, and this time we've got team number 15's Acme Moving Men. Blah. Acme Moving Men. Uh, first we've got Acme Moving Men's Scrap Box versus Acme Moving Men's AW Wooden Box on a Stick. <laughs> or Stick! <laughs> And then, uh, of course, Acme Moving Men's BW Nail Gun. So, okay. The little box is a scrap box, tidiest box. And then Wooden Box on a Stick has one stick. And then Nail Gun is the solid silver nail gun looking guy. Okay, I got it. I got it this time. Welcome to Gotta learn those teens. Zone. Skip. Action cam. Let's begin. Okay, so, woo, wow. Nail Gun on a Stick is fast. Ooh. Or, uh, the Nail Gun is fast. Oh my goodness. Oh, they cross chopped the little box. They cross chopped the uh, box on a stick. It's down to scrap box versus nail gun. Scrap box is more spikes. More spikes for the win. My god, that was good. That was fast, though. I guess that's why they call them lightweights. Um, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the next one. Alright, everybody, we're back. And this time we've got team number. Uh, 16. God, why do I have to keep counting? Rust Factory. Also, I wanted to show you this. Apparently not all teams have uh, three lightweights. Some of them apparently only have two lightweights in exchange for um, two lightweights and two heavyweights. So we've got we, we've got this little guy, Reckless Infiltrator, then a middleweight, then a heavyweight, then this little guy, Expen Expendable Automation. Wow, Expendable Automation. Neat name. Vox and Net... Neglected water bug. <laughs> so it's going to be, I guess, these two lightweights to decide who, as their team's lightweight, will uh, represent their team in the official tournament. So I guess we don't need to change modes to deathmatch or anything. St same rules apply, same arena, all that good stuff. Let's see what these two bots can all do, uh, is all about. Shut up, announcer! So, we've got Reckless Infiltrator versus Expendable Automation. I think Expendable Automation might win this. He, he seems pretty devastating. I mean, he's got that piston, all those spikes. Oh, yeah, it's it's over. Wait, no. I got them mixed up again. How? But you're on one side of the screen. So, Reck, Reckless Infiltrator won at 1,201 points. Man, these are going by fast. Remember, these are just elimination matches. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. Alright everybody, we're back and with this time with Team 17's Grandpa's Shed. Uh, we've got Grandpa's Shed Robo Rake versus Grandpa's Shed AW Old Tin Can versus Grandpa's Shed BW Tiny Tetanus. Oh, oh that's nice. It's like a rusty nail. I like that. Um, yeah, this this team does have three, so without further ado, let's uh, get it started. Boop. There we go. I keep having to turn my face cam off. Let's see, AWO 10K. Ooh, Rusty Nail starts off really quick. And, uh oh, looks like somebody's lost half their main weapon. Rusty Nail, or Tetanus. Tetanus has. Robo Rake is the guy with the big, gigantic four spikes. They're all pushing pistons. Uh, piston pushers. And AW 10K, he's getting picked on. Everybody's going for him. AW10 can pushed up against the wall. Robo Rake pushing him into the hammer. Ooh, but um, Robo Rake getting smashed on by the hammer now. Tin Can trying to get around that uh, wide, uh, very wide weapon. Ooh, but a heavy hit from the hammer sends Old Tin Can to the slammer. <laughs> the Old Tin uh, Robo Rake going for uh, Tetanus now. Tiny Tetanus, one wheel, heavy damage, getting pushed around. Into the floor flipper, over, and both bots out of bounds! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, and it says Tiny Tetanus hit last. No, Robo Rake had like a little over double his point value, and he totally controlled that match. Pushed, pushed Tiny Tetanus right into the floor flipper. It's just a, a fluke that he went with him. Uh, I'm giving that one to Robo Rake. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I'll get that written down like with a little question mark by the side of it. Um, and we'll be right back with the next match. Alright, and we're back folks. And this time we've got Team 18's ACAMS Cleaning Service. 
So we're getting close to the end here, uh, at least for this round, and then we'll have the last 10 teams, which will be all 30 teams. Um, AKM's Cleaning Services Duster versus AKM Cleaning Services AW Whisk Broom versus AKM's Cleaning Services. Oh, that's a mouthful. BW Scrubber. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Scrubber. He looks cool. <laughs> and that last match, a uh, shut up announcer. That, ma that last match, I totally wasn't biased because both our names are Robo. Definitely not. Oh, I like the one with the tiny claws. He's he's kind of cute. <laughs> What is that, uh, Whisk Broom? No, I think, no, Scrubber's the big guy. Yeah, Scrubber's the big guy. He's got, like, freaking fish, but, ooh, he's got, like, fins, almost. Looks like he's gonna win, though. He's, he's definitely got his main weapons in, in, intact. One more good hit, ooh, and BW Scrubber is out. So it's just Whisk Broom versus Duster. What? I thought, I thought Scrubber was the big one. Oh, God. I always get these mixed up. It's got to be Whisk Broom, though. You know? Duster, then. At 2,933? Yeah, yeah, Duster was the big one. Wow, awesome. <laughs> oh, Scrubber looks bigger in the picture, but Duster's actually bigger. Oh, I never knew. Well, that goes to Duster. I'll get that written down. We'll be right back. All right, folks, and we're back. And this time we've got Team Spam, Spam, Spam. Dog Nabbit. It wasn't supposed to... There we go. It wasn't supposed to go all the way back. There we go, Spam. I wanted to show you this team also has two, only two lightweights. So we've got Click Me, which I, I get it, Spam. It's a joke on internet, Spam. I love their, um, I love their team icon, too. Are you stupid? Click yes or no. Oh, nothing happens when I click yes. <laughs> Does anything happen when I click no? No. And then we've got BW lose more weight, and it says lose weight, feel great. So that's that's kind of funny. So both these lightweights going up against each other. Let's see. Mm, excuse me. What they can do. Enter the shut up. Already right, shut up, Tony. I think these are pretty easy to. Uh, keep keep track of lose more weights the little orange one there and then wow jeez that was over so fast well I guess it goes to click me I didn't even get to drink my coffee okay uh, I'll have that written down and we'll be right back all right everybody and we're back and this time we've got the final team team 20 uh, team 1337 speakers or just speakers 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 uh, uber 1337 versus team 1337 speakers V I B K idiot behind keyboard <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna call him idiot behind keyboard or IBC I I B K <laughs> I B idiot behind keyboard hey what are they trying to say I'm not an idiot <laughs> versus team 1337 speakers BW ban band ah instead of a E it's a three and I I like that band <laughs> Ban 3D. Ban third. Wait, no. Got it. Action cam. Okay. Oh, I like the one with the, uh, whoa, with the spinners. Uh, who is that? Uh, that's Uber, isn't it? Idiot behind keyboard is, I think that's, get, he's getting hit really hard. I think that's idiot behind keyboard. Uh, let's see. Uber, yeah, yeah, Uber 1337. It's got it written right on it. And then, of course, um, Band is out. Band has been knocked out. Idiot behind keyboard, I think, is the little one. Looks like Uber's got him pinned down right now, but he needs to back out so that he can actually get his spinning weapon back up and running. Okay, he's going to back out now. Thank God. Don't, don't bother taking tires from your enemies that have already been destroyed. There we go. Both those spinner weapons getting up to full spinning speed. Just need to back out again and... Get that last hit on him. It'll be all over. Oh, there goes the other tire. <laughs> he does get uh, chip damage just for being close. It deals a little bit of damage. Uh, let's see. Idiot behind keyboard. He's uh, he's in the yellow right now. At 667 points. Trailing behind Uber's 2,638. So it's definitely... I'm pretty sure it's like... I'm like 98% sure it's going to go to Uber unless he gets flipped out of the arena somehow by the floor flipper. Which I'm sure will never happen. Watch it happen. Where is the floor flipper? It's so 
It's so well disguised. Is that it right there in the blue? That's got to be it, right? That's why it's outlined. Ooh, careful with that driving. Looks like he's almost burned out the uh, engines on his weapons. Oh, of course, he realizes he's got it now. The poor little guy's got no tires. He can't move. Well, there you have it, folks. It goes down to Uber. So he'll be representing his team in the um, lightweight tournament, the actual lightweight tournament. God, it's not even the finals yet. But that was the next 20 teams. There's 30 teams total. So week before last, which was supposed to be last week, we did the first 10 teams. And then this week, we did the next 10 teams. That leads up to 20 teams. And then in the final week, we'll do the last 10 teams, which will be all 30 teams. I think there's 30, 31 or 32. If it's an odd number, it's going to be weird, but I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, that's all the time I have left for today. If you did enjoy the episode and you'd like to see more, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below and suggestions. Uh, likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.